But Hashem, two, three minutes just to tell you what do you need for the Seder. So you need Kiddush cups. Kiddush cups means each one has to have a cup. How much is the size of a cup? The size of a normal cup, the minimum of a cup is three ounces. Three ounces means 86 milliliters. So you have your cup because if you take bigger cups, you're going to have to drink the whole cup or the majority of the cup. So it's better to have minimum cups, which is 86 ounces. You need matzah shmura, like we explained in one of the classes, and you need maror. What's maror? Maror is lettuce. Now, you cannot buy regular lettuce. It's infested, it's full of bugs, and you cannot use the lettuce, this type of lettuce for Pesach. You use bodek lettuce, or alenaki lettuce, or all any type of other lettuce. What's the difference? The difference is the kosher lettuce is grown in greenhouses. The greenhouses have three doors, right? When you, you, have, th you have three possibilities where the bugs can come from. They can come from earth, so in the greenhouse, the lettuce is grown on top of the ground. They can come from the air, so you have three doors to enter the greenhouse. So in case a mosquito went inside through the first door, it will be blocked by the second and the third door. Even if he penetrated the second door, he will be blocked by the third door. And then it's very possible also for, for, for uh, 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 worms to come from water. When you irrigate, in the water you can have water. You can have worms. So once you checked all those three possibilities, then your lettuce is bug free and worm free. And that's why it costs maybe three times the price, but it's worth it for the seller. If you cannot find such a type of, of lettuce, you can buy regular lettuce, but cut the green parts, leave only the, the, the middle part, which is the white part, easier to check, easier to clean with the brush, and then you can use it for the seder. So you, then you need chavoset, and besides this, you're set. The only thing you need also, don't forget, is the zroa. Zroa is a piece of meat with a bone, right? Ashkenaz use chicken wings. For Sfaradim, we use a piece of meat with a bone. If you can find a lamb, right? A lamb's roa, that would be the best thing. If not, you can take even a piece of steak. Just take the bone part with a little bit of, of meat on top of it and you have to roast it. Not to cook it, you have to roast it. So you put it in a pan, you put it in your, on broil, you put it in your oven for maybe half an hour or something like this, till it's broiled and then you put it on your, your, your matzah set, uh, plate. Also you need a boiled egg. You need a boiled egg, and that's going to serve you for the for the for the for the for the plate. And don't forget, this year it's going to be Shabbat, so you're going to have to prepare your water and salt before Shabbat. So you prepare water and salt, put it in a container, and on Shabbat put it. If you forgot to do that, you can still do it on Shabbat. Mix a little bit of salt in water. The reason why I'm allowed to do it Shabbat because it looks like you're doing it for a medicine. Some people have a toothache; they would mix water and salt. To, to gargle, you know how to do it on Shabbat, right? So if you forgot to mix your water and salt before Shabbat, you can mix it on Shabbat, but just a small spoon, right? You put it in the water and you're, you're gonna have water to dip your karpas, your celery, into the, the celery plate. So I wish you Chag Pesach Kasher V'Sameach.